So yeah, um, hi everyone. Uh, I'm Chetan and I have my co-host uh, Deepak and we have our special guest tonight. Uh, that's uh, Arnav Alok Goel today. Uh, thank you so much Arnav for you know taking time from your busy schedule and you know joining us for sure, the podcast. Sure. Thank you so yeah. much for having me. Yeah, sure. Uh, I mean, it's 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 a great privilege for all of us to you know have you because um, just to give a brief intro about Arnav. So he is currently uh, the founder of uh, the 3040 company and is also an ATP player um, who has already uh, earned a rank in ATP uh, circuit and is now you know uh, uh, giving his entrepreneurial journey a uh, kickstart and he founded the company 3040 in the year 2019. So he did his schooling in India and then moved to Europe, uh, you know, to for his education and also to play uh, like, you know, the tournaments uh, in ITF circuit and both in a ATP circuit as well. Um, so it's, I mean, let's talk about how he made this transitions and how, like, you know, how did he achieve all of this? So, yeah, I know, tell me, I mean, don't you think this is the dream of like, you know, so many people you've already like achieved it, like what next now? <laughs> you know, how do you feel about you know, starting a company at this age and you know i'm also like you know being a tennis player traveling the world and uh, being here like just talk about all so of that. for me chetan like uh starting a company or founding a company seems very glamorous to the world <laughs> right now but <laughs> to be honest because you know so much about indian tennis it's not yeah. that glamorous at all it's basically yeah. trying to help tennis players what exactly they are going through Mm -hmm. They are struggling. They are really struggling actually because the mm -hmm. main reason is there is no awareness and guidance. If they want to, you know, take tennis professionally, you will mm -hmm. hardly meet, I think, 10 or 20 people in the country who can actually guide you. Right. right. Totally. And we have, I think, around maybe 10 to 12,000 active players who are playing tennis in India. So okay. all of them are struggling because mm -hmm. if you talk to any one of them, they don't... Mm -hmm know exactly what they're supposed to do or what they're actually doing. Right, right, so, right. Same was the case with me when I was, you know, playing. Mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. you don't understand how things work, what you are supposed to do, which is the right country for you, who's the right coach for you, what should be your steps. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's the reason why I kept the name 3040. Yeah, that's, I mean, so, oh, that's, that's nice. I was knowing about that. <laughs> so you, you are one step behind of you know taking and like yeah, so I, was, I, I thought that everybody in india is down in tennis in some way or the other oh. so i should help them to reach views then it's up to oh. them if they can take the advantage, advantage. Oh, that's <laughs> the, that's a crazy thought man that's crazy thought. How, oh, I, I didn't knew that it was so much of you know technicality behind the name that's nice that's so really nice the that's idea nice. and the name came at the same time like it was not okay. separate that uh, I thought it today mm. and now I, I was thinking what should I keep it okay but okay it was at the that's same time crazy that's that's crazy that's yeah cool. sure Alok we, we would love to you know talk about your 30 40 year journey and everything so before beginning with that part we wanted to like you know know how was the childhood of Arnav like what was he like and when did he started playing tennis and when did this all journey begin so uh I was born in Muzaffarnagar. Uh, it's a small city in Uttar Pradesh. It's 100 kilometers or 120 kilometers from New Delhi. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I was really fond of playing. I used to play cricket. Uh, oh, I yeah. think <laughs> I, I think three or four, four hours every single day. Every uh, single day. <laughs> but in my street itself, yeah. like, Gali yeah. cricket. Yeah. Okay. Right. And sure. so this was, I think, uh, yeah, it was in fourth standard when. Uh, my best friend got a tennis racket and he told me that a new tennis mm -hmm. academy is starting in our school. Oh, in the and, school itself. Okay, got yeah, it. And I asked him like, what is the fee? So he said only 100 mm -hmm. rupees. And I said, yeah, that's mm -hmm. okay. I'll, I'll talk <laughs> to my dad and maybe I can join it. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, in the same evening, we went for uh, to the shop and we mm -hmm. uh, asked the shopkeeper like, what is the cost of the racket? And he said 500 <laughs> rupees. Okay. And my dad oh. were flabbergasted yeah. like, you... Yeah, it is <laughs> right. I get it. Five hundred was like very too big much. deal. Correct. Way too much. Yeah. Way too much. Ki five hundred rupees racket kaun lega? <laughs> exactly. So, so, but to... somehow, mm -hmm. somehow I got the racket and uh, I joined the academy the next day. 
Okay. And I nice. did not miss a session for like next three, four years. Not a single day. Crazy, oh. crazy. And in the end of seventh standard, I told my dad that I want to take this sport professionally. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. he talked to our relatives, his friends, that mm-hmm. where can I send him? Maybe it can be okay. Dehradun or Delhi because uh, Muzaffar Nagar is in center yeah, of East. Yeah, it's in between. The, yeah, sure. yeah. So it's like it's convenient both like for both the places. Yeah. yeah. So some uh, my dad wanted me to uh, go to Dehradun because he we had more relatives there and also he used to mm-hmm. think that Delhi is not that safe. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. So he went to Delhi to maybe talk to some coaches and figure out schooling and everything. I also uh, went to few academies for trial and we okay. figured out that it was way too expensive to move to yeah. Delhi. Yeah, yeah. And he was, even Dehradun was really expensive, but still mm-hmm. it was way too less in uh, comparison to Delhi. To Delhi. So, <laughs> so we decided, okay, let's go to Dehradun. But still mm-hmm. it was like around, I think, 28,000 or 30,000 rupees a month. Oh, oh, but oh. that's still too much. Yeah. And my dad's salary at that point was 40,000 rupees a month. Oh. Oh. And I oh, came to know this much, much later in my life. Uh, oh, that's, uh, that's, that's crazy. No, I mean. So I still, I, I still ask him, I still ask him. Like, why, why, why? Today, why? Like, huh? how, how can you do it? Like how, how was the motivation? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, seriously, I mean, that's really great, you know, I mean, th- that's like, you know, they sacrifice so many things for us. I mean, they would not even like, you know, let us know that, you know, if something is being uh, hindered somewhere, they would never let us know. I mean, that that's the best part of, you know, our parents. So, yeah, that's that's superb. So yes. then after you moved to um, uh, Dehradun and then you started like your coaching and everywhere from the yeah. school itself. And that's also when I started playing ITA tournaments. Okay. Where we yeah. travel everywhere mm-hmm. in India okay. for a few ranking points. Uh, mm. Yeah, yeah. And I was there for, uh, I think, um, 2014. I did mm. complete my school in Dehradun itself. Uh, okay, okay. But my dad used to keep on telling me that if you want, you can change your academy. You can try something new. But I was, you know, too mm-hmm. obsessed with my coach that he's going to make mm-hmm. me a champion. Mm-hmm. Uh, definitely, mm-hmm. I was wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, that's 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 totally true. Because even we felt like, you know, there are a lot of, uh, I mean, uh, there are also for sure a lot of good academies. But there are a few coaches who don't know, know exactly the roadmap of what next now. So once when you get to a level and what next, I mean, you are the best person to, you know, um, talk about that. Yeah, we'll, we'll cover that. Like, we'll forget, that. forget the roadmap. Uh, if you yeah. ask any player or any coach, yeah. at least uh, mm. let's not talk about maybe 20 coaches in India or maybe mm. 30 coaches. Apart from mm. that, at least in North India, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you can. they won't be able to tell you how do you enter mm. an ITF tournament. <laughs> The, I, I, that's the point to be, you know, touched on. Exactly. And mm-hmm. even if you talk to players who are top five in the country, top ten in the mm-hmm. country in juniors, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they still they don't would... know how they are getting in ITF. They don't know the okay. criteria. Oh, okay. That's uh, so interesting. They still think it's the ITA rank which is helping them get which into ITF. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so, like, I think I have uh, talked to around mm-hmm. 300, 400 players mm-hmm. and their mm-hmm. parents and mm-hmm. If you ask them uh, uh, what you are supposed what? to do to enter ITF, they'll say you have to be in top 50 or top 20 in ITF first. Okay, okay. That's the <laughs> only criteria. <laughs> they do. And I was I was so fed up of this that I actually had to ask my team to make mm. a post about this and we should put right. it on social media that <laughs> right. Right, right. versus reality, something like that. Exactly. Yeah, I, I think I have checked that post out. Yeah, definitely. That's great. So, so that's this is great. a very, very pity issue, but Mm. we are still there yeah (laughs) Yeah. so i mean yeah i mean the motivation behind this is to you know create the awareness so uh, which which 30 foot is like you know doing i've been like you know checking your post out like you know uh like you know kind of injuries what would be happening on a regular basis and kind of like the tournaments or like the roadmap so that's that's pretty nice because um as you said like you know having awareness within the place is also like important rather than I mean, like, then comes like, you know, creating awareness for all the parents and the society and everything, because I mean, uh, I mean, not to point out like, because we are always like, you know, meant 
or like you know seen as a cricket playing nation but which right. is not totally true as portrayed by the media because that is being like covered on a main basis because even the corporate uh, even everyone most of them like you know they try and support cricket because that that's also a medium for like you know bro- broadcasting and also for like the business purpose but with that being said we also do have like you know great tennis players which you currently being in the tour you would be knowing um, i mean we have like great bunch of people who like you know need uh, the support and the love from all like the tennis fans and everyone but it seems that we don't have like a medium where they can come and like you know express about their journey i mean because uh, we personally know because we have read about you that what you have gone through your like you know company and your uh, tennis coaching and everything but uh, we just wanted to like you know provide a medium um, so that everyone would you know get to know and at least reach out to persons who i mean many would have like you know rel- relatable journey and they can you know reach at home hey, i think i can reach out to a person who can Correct. you know at least guide me so i i mean like uh, really uh, it's a good thing that you are you know starting i mean you've started 30 40 and uh, it's it's probably it would i mean i believe we i mean rather depending on like a structure or organization probably we youngsters um, can you know do something of our own because in this world uh, like you know having um, social medias and awareness and everything probably we would be uh, able to you know create impact with all of this like podcast or like you know creating a digital post or something so probably yeah it has to be uh, it has to be like mm-hmm. some of some of everything like a yeah. little bit here a yeah. little bit there and you know we have to obviously have to make a community that okay Hey, there is this part of the country which plays tennis yes exactly right. yeah these are the people who are passionate for tennis right right so i don't know what do you what, think what, like uh, why there is much focus on cricket rather than any sport i think uh, it's a very simple answer we were uh, ruled by britishers for 200 years uh-huh. like, uh-huh. and if you see it's their national sport mm. if not cricket then what yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> like if you ask any person in india he mm. thinks he is the best batsman yeah <laughs> and, and he and he is and he is a lethal bowler <laughs> yeah he can be very decisive you can ask anybody yeah. including me <laughs> <laughs> get it that that makes sense that's true like if if you if you are uh, out of the country and if you go to any nation which is not which uh, which is not a cricket playing nation mm. they cannot yeah. bowl Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's not natural that your arm can go like this. It's not natural. Yeah. Correct. Right. It's only for Indians. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> like you ask, if you are in US, you ask anybody, mm-hmm. uh, can you yeah. try to bowl? Girl. Yeah. Will They usually like, like, like tend to throw it directly. Yeah. Just yeah. like a baseball, yeah. because I have a couple yes. of my friends when I talk to them about like cricket, they say. like how do you do it i mean we just kind exactly, of like, exactly just throw it. exactly hum log hum log india mein usko fek hi bolte hai bhai we don't do yeah. that <laughs> in the north india mein usko bhatta bolte hai bhatta bhatta yeah yeah bhatta <laughs> that's that's so matlab yaar matlab obviously roots mein to cricket hi india ke hmm 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 correct aur itna uh, fan base hai ki wo change kabhi nahi hoga ha exactly yeah i think naye sports apni jagah banate rahenge but क्रिकेट से कम्पीट नहीं हो सकता एंड नाउ वी हैव सच अ वाइड ऑडियंस इतने स्पॉन्सर्स हैं बीसीसीआई आईसीसी बड़ा है तो या कंपेयर टू वी आर नॉट ट्राइंग टू वी डोंट हैव टू कंपीट विद क्रिकेट बट इट्स जस्ट दैट कि सबको उतनी इंपॉर्टेंस मिल जाए या व्हाई व्हाई विराट कोहली हैज टू गिव एन अवार्ड टू सुमित नागर हम्म या दैट दैट्स अ दैट डजंट मेक सेंस correct mm, that's the point to be correct. noted correct so yeah or maybe Just, i think we also gave some award to pv sindhu i'm not sure but like he was yeah. the one who was giving the award maybe because of its foundation or in some event yes, i foundation. don't remember that yeah yeah uh, there was but, one i mean they used to host a like you know a sporting award awards from his uh, uh, like ng uh, i think uh, His one is his, one is VK Foundations Virat Kohli Foundation, but Foundation. I I think there was also some show mm. uh, which is I think it's an year it's a yearly show uh, yeah. for celebrating sportsmen of India. Sports, sports awards. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Virat Kohli was uh, giving awards mm. to different 
players. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he yeah. himself is a player, so that doesn't yeah, make sense. That, that, yeah, that that's uh, like yeah. I mean, it, it's like a cricket perspective for all the sport. That yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Uh, so yeah. That that's a good point uh, to that son. No, uh, no. <clears throat> so like you know, uh, how did you like you know um, started your journey in Europe? I mean, you complete your completed your schoolings from uh, Dehradun and like how did that transition of you like you know going to Europe I mean that's a different country like you know even me before coming to US it was a lot of like you know different questions where you come and it's a new place new people and I mean I was like you know introvert uh, at that time when I just like you know came in I didn't knew a lot of things so how difficult was it and what changes did you make and how was the transition phase for you like you know going to europe so when i when i moved to delhi uh, mm-hmm. i realized that ki aise to kuch nahi hone wala ye chal kya raha hai sab aise khel mm-hmm. rahe hain i started playing men's mm-hmm. okay. and i started talking to my seniors i started talking to different coaches mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. everybody buddy was confused there was mm-hmm. not a single answer which was good enough for me okay okay and i had only accessibility to the internet yeah right so i started reading mm. everything possible about tennis everything okay 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 whatever video on youtube whatever article link whatever mm. i used to find i used mm. to read it mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. that's when i realized it's mm-hmm. not possible to become a professional mm-hmm. tennis player mm-hmm. in india okay okay if you are aiming to go beyond top 200 atp or wta mm-hmm. india cannot be your base okay okay and we have examples we have stats mm. we have data we have okay. enough yeah, proofs okay. to you know support mm. this statement okay okay so this is when i realized that i need to go to europe anyhow mm mm-hmm. mm-hmm. then i started checking at started researching where, how can i go to europe which will be the right country and why mm. okay okay so this is when i realized that it will cost at least 2 lakh rupees a month if i want to you know move mm. to europe and play yeah. in a proper academy mm Makes and sense. I still feel how people can pay two lakh rupees a month. Yeah, that's the. I mean, yeah, that's exactly my next. I still have was. that thought. <laughs> yeah. I still have that thought, even though I have my mm. own academy there now. I am running stuff in Spain, but I still have that thinking. Hmm. It two lakh rupees. Where are they coming from? Where are they coming from? Yeah, that's. How can it happen? Hmm. But then I started like now. Mm. I think that. Uh, it has to be mm-hmm. that way only mm-hmm. you will have to spend this much amount of money mm-hmm. in terms of if you are looking to reach that level because even mm-hmm. if you get a discount or a scholarship on your tennis uh, coaching how will mm-hmm. you you know fund your traveling right that's a so even when i you know uh, give any scholarships or sponsorships to my players mm-hmm. i ask them like even if i make your tennis cheaper mm-hmm. how are you going to travel Travel. yeah also have to it. consider that part it's not like mm-hmm. you will become really really good and one mm-hmm. day somebody will come and sponsor you that's not going to happen <laughs> yeah that's a dream for millions but yeah yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, so, so uh, i mean yeah yeah please please go ahead go ahead so i think uh, i think if you are in europe mm-hmm. this is also i figured that if you are in europe you can survive mm-hmm. okay playing uh, tennis in tennis okay which is not true in our country okay okay so in europe you can earn rupees 8000 rupees to rupees 2.5 lakh rupees every single week oh okay by by you mean by playing tournaments uh, by playing tournaments tournament? prize money oh. the national oh. tournaments from france and germany oh crazy crazy you that's crazy you can actually make this much money every single week oh now okay. the difference is when you are in india Mm. The excuse is we never get rewarded. Maybe the excuse or the reason, whatever it is, but mm. that's mm. the usual complaint that we are not getting rewarded. Okay. But now, okay. if you are in Germany or in Europe mm. or anywhere in Europe, mm-hmm. you are getting rewarded. So if you okay. perform, mm. somebody will appreciate it by giving okay. you rewards. Rewards. Okay. So that's the plan. Like, if you don't have money or if you are trying to go big in tennis, then also mm. you are supposed to be in Europe somehow. Okay. Okay. Either you get take your admission in graduation, masters, because studying in Europe is way way cheaper than US. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm not. Right. I'm. I'm in complete favor of US college tennis. Even mm. we do that service, but mm. yeah, you have to realize which is the right mm. 
thing for you basically it's Correct. not like everybody should go to us college tennis and or, or everybody should go for your yeah many can like you know can't afford like you know coming to us college or spending so much and then you would have like you know uncalled pressure on you to you know perform and like you know give back so how are you going to like you know pay back once you like graduate yeah that that totally makes sense i mean they have to like you know, take our calls so, so this is also like part the... of the awareness basically okay. yeah sorry sorry please say okay. uh, what would be the typical prize money in you know ita tournaments or itf tournaments uh, which are held uh, in india like so ita tournaments prize money is uh, we have 1 lakh uh, rupee tournament which is very usual or hap- happening mm-hmm. almost every okay. week or maybe once in two weeks mm-hmm. so the winner mm-hmm. gets 12 and half thousand rupees uh, oh <laughs> you mean like the finalist i mean the winner just gets the winner 12500 that's it that's it oh i always think i thought <laughs> that the winner gets all like the 1 lakh 1 lakh 1 lakh is the total prize money Oh, so oh. they have to divide among. Divided like, in know, thirty-two different... players. Thirty-two players, also singles and doubles. Oh, I believe. So imagine, uh, imagine yeah, I yeah. have a tournament in Jaipur, okay, and I live in Delhi. Oh, it's not gonna cost me less than twelve thousand rupees to play yeah, the tournament, right? I mean, and given I, I win the title, <laughs> exactly. Just, just wondering. I mean, some of. I mean, your the shoes would cost somewhere around eight to ten thousand rupees. Right? That's, <laughs> a That's a minimum. That's a minimum. That's a minimum. In today's exactly. In, in today's time, you're gonna spend at least thousand rupees a day. Oh. For your stay, nah. your food, and everything. Correct. Then you have stringing. Then you have Stringing. your traveling. Then entry fees of the tournament. Oh, no, it no. won't cost you less than twelve thousand rupees if you play throughout the week. So, if you oh. win the title, you might break even. Oh, that's a different story. I thought the winner would, you know, get to pick all the one lakh rupees. That's a different story. Oh, yeah. So we have oh. one of the biggest tournaments. Uh, once every year, it's called Finesta Nations. Yeah. There, there you get prize money around three lakh rupees. That's who mm. happening only. Oh, like you know, once in a annual event. Yeah. One once a year. Okay. So and, I mean, uh, I mean. in spite like you know we we need like more itf tournaments and like you know atp challenges and everything right because ita i mean having ita tournaments it, it's good but that would not like you know count on your points in getting your uh, rank i think we we need we need uh, national national ranking tournaments with more prize money okay or we okay. need itf tournaments tournaments right now can... we don't have a lot of players who are ready for challenges Okay. Or okay. They will get in. We hardly have, I think, seven mm-hmm. or eight players who are in top five hundred in the mm-hmm. world, or maybe, mm-hmm. maybe two or three more. Right. So right. I think I need. We need a lot of ITF future events, which is fifteen k or twenty five k. Twenty five k. Yeah. Yeah. And we need a lot of good prize money tournaments. Okay. Okay. Right. That makes sense. To make this sense. sport, you know, sir. Uh, sir people cannot survive by playing tennis in India. That's for yeah. sure. Yeah. That, 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 that's that, why it's not growing. That's, that's why it's not growing like when you do something or when you start doing something you f- firstly you focus on survival mm, exactly right yeah. and yeah. if you cannot survive by playing the sport why will parent encourage you to play it or why will they spend so much money on the sport exactly exactly so that's why tennis that's, that's why tennis is dying yeah that that's an interesting point to you know touch base on because i mean if you are like playing cricket or something you can like you know open your academy and you can still earn a living out of it but for tennis no no no, no. In, even in even in cricket i i okay. went to few cricket academies mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and the uh, academy fees is rupees 1500 rupees to 5000 rupees per month that's oh. the maximum okay okay so if somebody is more than 3500 or 4000 uh mm-hmm. he will he will have only like what mm. 20 or 30 kids kids okay or oh, so like a... how will he also break even correct that's a that's a good point i so mean cricket yeah. academy has to be like it's a volume game you will have mm. to have 100 200 players you know to make a decent academy right right that's that's good so i know tell us uh, i mean about your 30 40 like how does it work i mean you provide only coaching for you know tennis or, uh, 
or do we have any fitness programs or uh, i mean i mean whatever uh, you do in 3040 like just some so basically 3040 is india's first one stop solution mm-hmm. for all tennis needs okay. okay okay so it has coaching mm-hmm. it has us college tennis if you want to go to europe for your education to play mm-hmm. tennis there or you want to mm-hmm. play leagues like football mm-hmm. you have leagues in tennis right uh, right a lot of indian players have visas with uh, issues with visas mm okay so we are okay. also trying to solve that that problem because i used to face a lot of difficulties in getting a long term visa okay okay like i'll give you an example and uh, there's this girl called shruti alawat Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think I. In, uh, she, she represented uh, India in I think French Open last mm-hmm. year. Right, right. I think also Australian Open earlier this year, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So she was at that time. She was training in uh, I think R K Khanna Tennis Stadium, and she's India mm-hmm. number one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But imagine nobody mm-hmm. could help her to get a visa to France. Oh, he's India Sad. number one, and she's Sad. playing strange. there. Yeah, <laughs> that's strange. I mean, yeah, I they, had to get a visa done. Oh, no, <laughs> that's how yeah. sad. It yeah. I mean, usually, like the ITA is the one which would you know take care of all of this, right? I mean, um, like you know, getting your visa. I don't know if it, if it if it has to be ITA or a simple letter oh. from French Open or the you know okay. acceptance list of French Open. I don't know mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. what should be the right criteria. Okay. But okay. she should not struggle for a visa. Exactly right. Correct. I mean, that's the only yeah. thing. Mm-hmm. She's world number, I think. I don't know, fifty or sixty in mm-hmm. ITF juniors. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. visa should be least of her concerns <laughs> exactly that, that should not be in her picture at all so yeah that's that's um, very you know that's very um, interesting and you know, you you have like you know so much of things to concentrate on you have to concentrate on your trainings your you know pl- uh, planning of your tournaments and travel and everything it would be a nuisance like you know you being like you know covering up all your travel plans your visa restrictions and everything what not i mean that's a good thing you know and the 3040 is uh, helping them out in you know uh, figuring out all the other things just they can focus on the games that's uh, that's the best part so uh, i i also read that i mean 3040 they have like a different divisions right one is uh, 3040 coaching and one is academics and one is uh the college tennis so is that like divided into different uh, criteria like uh, how how can like you know uh, let's say an aspiring tennis kid is he he wants to like you know play tennis professionally so how can you how can he like approach 30 40 is there like a criteria of selection or is it like so they can yeah. basically basically what i feel is for indians there are three options one is hmm. to be in india to go yeah. to europe or to be in us yeah it has to be between these three things mm mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. how do you decide your country now it depends on three factors mm-hmm. your current playing level yeah your goal mm-hmm. and your budget got it mm-hmm. this is the first first three questions i ask when a professional player mm-hmm. comes up to me yeah and is seeking for help that what should i do or his or her parents okay so i okay. tell them very honestly and very clearly that mm-hmm. these options you have mm. and based on that we can design your tennis journey basically okay and okay i have uh, written down around 50 things which are related to tennis where you can make your career oh okay apart from being a player apart from going professional you can still earn a like a living out of uh, your correct. Okay. correct yeah yeah correct so my focus is that if 100 players are playing tennis only mm. two or three will become champions right. maybe maybe two right. or three right mm. but what about those 97 and 98 mm. yeah. who are playing that sport for same time same like same. last 16 years 15 years how Correct. will they sustain how will they survive how will right. they use tennis as a tool you know to make living right okay. right that's a good part so yeah i mean many i would say i mean even we like you know we 
even we played like you know for quite some time before like, you know switching our careers to engineering because i mean in in, in india at least uh, right after one point you have to like you know choose between this or that i mean uh, you would not have enough guidance to you know to do what next even if you have like you know financial support and everything but still uh, as you said like there is a constant juggle between uh, whom to reach out to and it will be a new foreign thing right for a, like you know fresh kid coming out of school uh, he is enthusiastic to play tennis but he really don't know like no way to reach and what to do and then he would end up you know going to an educational background feeling that would be a safer side you know keeping his tennis career uh aside and then i mean i i believe like uh, you would have seen many of your friends who would have started parallelly with you who were like an you know, actually good um uh, with your pace but then later after a few years you would have seen like you know they like you know dropping that out and you know do, doing something else so i believe um, i uh, always constantly believe that you know everyone should do something what they love to an extent wherein they would be the best out of uh that zone i believe uh, that is something you know lagging behind because a person who love to play sport or go professional is some way doing a medical career or engineering career or some other careers you know bifurcating their interests so yeah i think this would be uh, you know head start for them to at least believe that you know not everyone can go professional but that doesn't mean you that will keep you from playing tennis you can still play and you can still earn a living that would be um, the the best uh, idea now because since you know they are like almost 1.4 crore um 1.4 billion people uh, indian population is and there are few small countries who are like, getting tennis players in the top 5 or top 10 ranking how is that even like possible like you know the stats and all they does not even like you know make sense we should be producing more um, you know tennis players and yeah probably it would start now i mean it's it's going uh, quite good but yeah it should, should go very very gradually is what i believe yeah but like also i have to add this because i think people mm-hmm. will uh, listen to it uh, mm-hmm. and you are mm-hmm. living in us and yeah. you will be able to understand this easily mm-hmm. uh, when you turn 18 yeah in most of the houses in europe or us you are on your own yeah right yes. so now you are studying and working mm, mm, mm. almost i think 80 80 85% of yeah, the I mean, you know households mm, they do this yeah they do yeah right like if you go to germany if you go to france if you go to states whatever you talk mm. to them mm, mm. i have a friend his name is adrian wimmer okay okay he is top 700 in germany which is a very mm. good ranking good and he is also a doctor oh that's that's crazy and he's only playing 3 to 4 days a week week oh oh that's that's crazy that's when crazy. i i went to germany for the first time mm mm-hmm. mm-hmm. i was i was playing 6 to 7 hours every okay. single day okay okay and he was still playing close to me and sometime he was also beating me oh that's that's interesting so i think mm-hmm. if you want to you know make it happen you can make mm-hmm. it happen okay okay you can exactly. you can definitely find a way yeah like i have said it many times if a player like me can get an atp ranking everybody mm-hmm. can okay getting that's... an atp ranking is not is not mm-hmm. the only criteria right right you have right. to go deeper right okay. right your game should speak for itself you know that okay this is the player and he can make it happen right. given the right platform right given the right opportunity okay. but the thing is we don't have that we hmm. don't know what it takes to make a player exactly we will have to understand that what a player actually hmm. needs hmm. so hmm. in india i playing an itf is considered as such a big thing big that thing. Thing. Think, okay, now i'm playing <laughs> itf <laughs> <laughs> now imagine Sorry. we have hardly 6 to 8 events 8 6 to 8 mm-hmm. events mm-hmm. every single year correct mm-hmm. so when a player is playing an itf he is mm-hmm. so pressurized to perform or to get that one point oh, how will how will we or she play correct the next level you are supposed to play 30 to 35 tournaments every year <laughs> that's 
yeah. that you don't feel like it's an ITF. It's just a normal match. Mm-hmm. What mm-hmm. what do we usually do uh, when we travel for ITF from India? We make mm-hmm. a plan for like two to three weeks, mm-hmm. expecting that we will get the point get in the those point, three huh? weeks. <laughs> this is what coach yeah. thinks. This is what parent thinks, and this is what player is told. <laughs> सुबह शाम इतनी मेहनत करा रहा हूँ तू क्या कर रहा है कर दिए प्लेयर को लग रहा है कि मैं क्या कर रहा हूँ क्या कर रही हूँ कि मेरे साइड में एक पॉइंट नहीं बन रहा मेक सेंस तो ये ये जो चेन ऑफ थॉट्स है ना इट ये पूरा चेंज करना पड़ेगा राइट राइट सबसे पहले तो ये कि आईटीएफ खेलना बिल्कुल भी बड़ी बात बड़ी बात नहीं है आईटीएफ कोई भी खेल सकता है आपको अपनी रैंक नहीं चाहिए टॉप ट्वेंटी में टॉप फिफ्टी में राइट आपको बस देखना पड़ेगा की कौन सी कंट्री में आपको एंट्री मिल जाएगी फॉर एग्जाम्पल एशिया में देर आर टू टूर्नामेंट एवरी वीक यूरोप में देर आर एट टूर्नामेंट एवरी वीक वन कैटेगरी सो इट्स इजियर टू गेट इन राइट राइट सो जब हम आईटा खेल रहे हैं साल के पच्चीस या तीस तो हमें आई टी एफ भी साल के पच्चीस तीस खेलने पड़ेंगे रैंकिंग लाने के लिए करेक्ट अब इसमें भी अगर मैं स्टैट्स की बात करूँ आप कोई भी टॉप फोर्टी प्लेयर्स उठा लो ए टी पी में या डब्ल्यू टी ए में हम्म 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 प्ले एट लीस्ट ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फाइव वीक्स ओके ओके एंड देयर बेस्ट परफॉर्मेंस कम्स इन ओनली थ्री टूर्नामेंट या राइट एंड द मोमेंट योर परफॉर्मेंस इज गुड इन मोर देन थ्री टूर्नामेंट्स यू क्रैक टॉप ट्वेंटी एंड टॉप फिफ्टी ओके ओके बट दे आर गिविंग देम सेल्फ दो चांसेस एवरी सिंगल ईयर टू गेट दो थ्री रिजल्ट राइट Which can and we fetch want those in results in three tournaments. <laughs> so that's the problem which is happening. They exactly. uh, many would not be able to you know travel to different countries for the ITF tournaments. They can't afford. They just keep playing ITF tournaments. And if there aren't any many ITF tournaments because this COVID hit and everything. I mean before also there weren't like many many ITF tournaments being held. Not more than six. Hardly. भैया आप तो आईटीएफ खेलते हैं हां दैट दैट हैज टू चेंज कंप्लीटली हम्म हम्म भैया आपका आईटीएफ कैसा रहा भैया आप नेक्स्ट क्या खेल रहे हो भैया मैं कैसे खेल सकता हूं हम्म हम्म एग्जैक्टली ये सारे क्वेश्चंस अगर आने स्टार्ट हो और लगे कि भैया या मैं आईटीएफ कैसे होंगे या ये सब नहीं है अभी अभी नहीं है राइट दिस इज नॉट देयर इट्स स्टिल लाइक आईटीएफ और जब तक वो आईटीएफ इतना बड़ा नाम रहेगा तब तक Mm, but if you see actually ITF is the starting stage of international tennis and we are right. still stuck right. there correct correct but uh, uh, now aapko kya lagta hai like uh, hum log like kaise awareness kar sakte hai tennis ke bare mein ya fir tournaments ke bare mein ya fir uh, i mean i know it's it's a bit expensive compared to other other sports so like uh, because इंडिया में ना लाइक यूएस लोगों की तरह नहीं है लाइक इल बी कट ऑफ यू नो मिड रेंज फैमिलीज वेर इन दे कैन दे के नॉट अफोर्ड मच बट स्टिल देयर किड्स आर यू नो इंटरेस्टेड इन टेनिस बिकॉज आई हैव मेनी फ्रेंड्स एंड दे आई मीन दे टू प्ले वेरी वेल बट ड्यू टू सम फाइनेंशियल इश्यूज दे कुड उन कंटिन्यू सो लाइक आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू नो लोग लाइक हम लोग कैसे ये प्रॉब्लम को यू नो फाइनेंशियल प्रॉब्लम है ना थोड़ा कैसे उसको या सॉल्व कर सके को सॉल्व कर सके बना सके कर सकते सो फर्स्टली इवन आफ्टर सेइंग एवरीथिंग आई डिड व्हेनेवर अ प्लेयर सेज आई डोंट हैव फाइनेंसेस ही इज यूजिंग एन आईफोन या या That makes sense. <laughs> Whenever okay. a player who wants to make it happen, he or yeah. she will find a way. Ah. Uh-huh. <clears throat> even when I said that my ATP rank is not even close to what I wanted it mm-hmm. to be, mm-hmm. I found a way to make it happen. Right. Right. That's great. 
that's good. but at that time i was not focusing on what am i wearing what phone i have mm-hmm. where do i want to party where do i want to how do i want to look whatever it is mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. agar aapke paas un sab kaamon ke liye budget hai mm-hmm. to aapke paas tennis yeah. ke liye budget hai <laughs> okay okay secondly you can always mm-hmm. find a part time job ah right हम्म एक्सपेंसेस की कंप्लेन मैक्सिमम वो लोग करते हैं हम्म जो एक्सक्यूजेस दे रहे होते हैं हम्म 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 आप कितना भी क्रिप करते रहो आप कुछ भी करते रहो अगर आपको करना है यू विल फाइंड अ वे यू विल एग्जैक्टली मतलब मैं एक चीज अब आपको बता रहा हूं कि मे बी आई डोंट नो इफ शुड इट शुड गो ऑनलाइन और नॉट हम्म 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 इवन आई वांटेड टू डू गुड Mm-hmm. I still want to help as many players as I can. Right. But right. apart from helping, I also wanted mm-hmm. to, you know, mm-hmm. make money. Exactly. Yeah. That's that's. Uh, When I went to Germany for the mm-hmm. first time, mm-hmm. though mm-hmm. my tennis was already free, mm-hmm. but I took eight kids with me. Oh. Oh. So even if I consider a market rate at ten percent of commission. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I could have asked them for sixteen hundred euros. Yeah, correct for the training. They were charging two hundred euros a month. Correct, correct. I I never did because that was mm-hmm. not my intention. I I was just mm-hmm. only focusing on my tennis. Correct, correct. That's. A... I was just looking. Mm-hmm. You know, that I. You know, they made me help. Yeah, mm-hmm. I. In their academy, they helped me. And people okay. trusted me so much that I was able to take eight players with me. Enough jar. So, what will happen? Right, right. That's a big. Uh... that's a big step right i mean that's really commendable like you know uh, it it will be a foreign country and you like you know you would be representing and you know uh, many i mean all the aspiring tennis players would be you know trusting you and then uh, you know joining a academy and then like playing yeah it's it's a very big task and that's uh, really nice so if you can <clears throat> find the ways it will happen and mm-hmm. how can we make it affordable so what we have done mm-hmm. is we mm-hmm. have made the entry level very cheap Oh, okay. Okay. It okay. can be compared to or match with cricket or even cheaper. Okay. Okay. So entry price to play uh, mm. in our groups mm. is around thirteen hundred rupees to fifteen hundred rupees a month. Okay. Oh, that's that's. So really now funny. to mm. start tennis, you only mm. need a racket. Mm. A racket. Mm. 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 And we are also trying to you know collaborate with brands so that we can mm. give rackets on rental. So now you oh. don't even have to buy it. Right. Okay. That's maybe really nice. Maybe if you are nice. paying fifteen hundred rupees a month, maybe we can charge you seventeen hundred rupees, two hundred rupees as rental. Rental for the yes. whole month. Super. Right. So at least you will start playing tennis. Playing tennis. Yeah. That that's itself that's, uh, would be great. the best thing. Now right. imagine with this, we can have prize money tournaments locally. Oh, uh, yep. That will make a difference. So it, we difference. will oh, already move towards having a you know tennis culture. Mm-hmm. right that totally makes sense because uh, in in us i mean uh, i know about that because they have a lot of you know free public courts which are like you know open 24/7 anyone can go yeah so just just go if you find a court empty just keep playing i mean they have that culture wherein they want the tennis growth i mean you know usta uh, right so that's an association which are like you know continuously rigorously working on how they can uh, improve this game day in and day out if you see the stats the percentage of people who are playing tennis uh, uh, comparatively from year 2021 and 2022 there was a increase of almost uh, i guess 7% uh, on an year on year basis so they are able to crack this because they are doing it because they are getting enough courts uh on the ground they're letting at least the first thing is people have to dream for them to dream they have to be at least given a chance to try out a sport because i believe not not many of my friends understand tennis rules they feel it's complicated but trust me each one of them always want to like hey bro mere ko bhi khelna hai ek bar mere ko acha lagta hai tennis khelna ball maarna acha lagta hai everyone has this thought but it's just that they feel bhai i i feel tennis bahut costly game yaar main shayad afford nahi kar pata hu so that's what their answer is so at least uh, if we could i mean at least the uh, government or like organization if they but can my, support my, public my i want yeah, to yeah. add a point here uh, yeah there india is an education obsessed country right 
yes yes yeah education 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 yeah and also worldwide people are ready to you know mm-hmm. take debt to study mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah because right. they want to right. excel in that field mm-hmm. so you know mm-hmm. they are ready to you know push their limits ki mm-hmm. mere ko admission lena hai mere ko loan ka koi dikkat nahi main baad mein pay kar dunga kar lunga ah uh, aap itne right. passionate ho ki aapko isme apna career mm-hmm. banana hai ya aapko uski value pata hai mm-hmm. करेक्ट करेक्ट तो अगर पैसा इतना बड़ा इशू है टेनिस में आगे जाने के लिए तो आप टेनिस के लिए भी लोन ले लो करेक्ट करेक्ट बट आपका वो लेवल तो आपको अगर स्टैनफोर्ड में एडमिशन आज मिला है तो आपने पढ़ाई की है ना उसके लिए तभी आप आप सब आपके आसपास रेडी हैं आपको सपोर्ट करने के लिए कि आप कैसे भी जाओ आप पढ़ो अगर आप इतने आउटस्टैंडिंग प्लेयर हो आप अपने आप को प्रूव कर पा रहे हो उस लेवल पे आपकी गेम से वो बात तो लगे की हाँ लोग आपको पैसा देंगे करेक्ट अगर आपको किसी सिटी में या किसी कंट्री में लैंडिंग से पहले टेनिस कोर्ट पे नजर जा रही है you don't need to say anything else <laughs> yeah so totally i know even true. when i'll if be you to, if you go yeah. to central park in new york yeah they have, have three tennis courts right 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 and you cannot <laughs> find a spot <laughs> exactly exactly i tried my luck one time yeah. over there but i waited for like almost 2 hours i couldn't yeah. get a hold of it and just like no walk the way you cannot yeah. find a spot I get it. I get it. <laughs> so there also, there also, you will have to show your skills to get a spot. <laughs> spot. Exactly. I'm a good player. I'm playing with you. You can take it. Right. 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 That's uh, that's really true, Anu. Uh, and uh, that that with that being said, I mean there is also scope for you know lot of job opportunities as well. I mean, lot of them believe that, as you said, like you know, uh, why are we still not thinking of you know taking a loan for making a career in tennis? Because I believe lot of them do not even like you know believe that you know I would be able to pay back that loan by playing tennis. I mean, for education, let's say many uh, people you know move uh, abroad to different countries to pursue their higher education. They have a belief that okay, they would be working in a corporate job and they would be able to pay back that loan. But lot of people. would not believe in you know making a career out of tennis and earning enough that they could pay back that loan because probably they don't see that you know enough uh, like you know examples which are like you know left behind who have already like you know uh, made big because uh, i mean if you ask me i mean lot of tennis players who are i mean who are still playing if you ask them hey do you know any like you know current tennis players Uh, they would like say, hey i know they are like sanya mirza is there rohan is there uh, leander is there and you no know, mahesh kopati is there but matter of fact is everyone are like uh, you know uh, they are almost done with the career rohan is still playing commendably uh, he won the uh, indian uh, wells indian wells as well that's a commendable job but not Amazing. many people realize that you know the we have to like you know support the youngsters i mean they are the forefront of the indian tennis right now and not many people know who is the the top 10 or the top 5 they they hardly can't even name those players i mean if the player who are constantly playing tennis are not being able to name those if you say virat kohli every kid no matter what sport he is playing he would be ad- able to identify hey take virat kohli here but it's not there for other sport i mean not just for tennis what i feel is i mean uh football is picking up and every other sport is picking up but in tennis i believe we have to take a stand at least uh, you know we, we are i mean uh, you are building such a you know nice community for tennis so everyone has to you know step up in their own ways uh, like you know i would also like you know we would want to reach out to all uh, tennis players former tennis players 
wherein they can you know be able to you know help budding tennis players in you know because they have been playing and they have been in the tour so far they have to like you know talk to tennis players and see if they can form like a committee or something where they can a uh, train give scholarship and you know proper suitable uh, structure of how they can imagine their road map is going going to be so yeah probably we would need to have something of that sort since it's more like an individual sport uh, i believe having the team work would make more sense uh, i mean competition is there of course it's an individual sport but as a country we have to be united you know to support each other and then compete against the world players to make a name for the india is is uh, what like, i but you have yeah. already you have already answered mm-hmm. like why tennis is not popular <laughs> yeah <laughs> any other yeah. any other individual sport for that matter mm-hmm. firstly you need a wider wider audience I for one know. person not a team mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right right either that name has to be as big as sachin tendulkar or roger federer mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. otherwise you right. won't go to watch one person you have to become mm-hmm. fan mm-hmm. of that level mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. even if let's say if we want to make a plan to go out Hmm. Hmm. 90 percent people will prefer hmm. to go with someone. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Right. You need a team to get in. Hmm. That people hmm. interested or yourself interested. Correct. Exactly. You don't exactly. know if you don't know any players and you are in a tournament, you will hmm. prefer to watch a doubles match over singles. Yeah. Correct. Because Correct. it will be more exciting. Hmm. 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 So team sport. by nature will always have more audience than an individual sport individual sport yeah yeah, yeah. that's there for sure secondly mm. Mm. you will have one bowling coach for the whole cricket mm. team mm. so yeah. obviously <laughs> even if you split the price it will come down <laughs> to be cheaper mm. right but right, here right. everything is done for this one person so mm. obviously it will be more expensive more expensive yeah So this is also the nature of an individual sport or a team event. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's why yeah. US college tennis is appreciated mm-hmm. so much. Right, right. You are exactly. playing an individual sport, but in a team. Right. <laughs> yeah. You have someone to go to gym every single day. You have someone to travel with. You have someone to train with. You are mm-hmm. playing tournaments together. You are playing leagues together. You are representing your team together. Yeah. So it yeah. feels like you are also a team. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Same That's, in league mm. matches in Europe. Mm. In tennis, Totally you are a team of totally. against six players, so they are more interested. Okay, like we are a group. Let's do this. Let's do mm. this. Yeah. So obviously, popularity will be more. Hmm. Hmm. so that's like you know supporting each other at least i mean it it sometimes it's so difficult to even find a hitting partner you know correct, of correct. your level to you know get hold i mean i mean it's a rigorous practice if you don't practice every day it's it's not going to happen you have to put in your heart sweat every single day to make a difference but still even after putting in almost like you know i have read somewhere like in order to make it big or in order to you know get the uh, grip of it you have to spend like you know 10000 hours of hours. yours in in that so yeah sometimes it will be difficult because if you don't have enough good hitting players uh, i mean let's say in india of that level i mean uh, for you to grow it's it's kind of difficult right if you don't face a player who is better than you it's kind of difficult for you to grow in that mentality in order to grow or like you know get the best out of your uh, self you have to be playing with the player who is like you know better with you that's the, only going like- to be poor. again like coming to this point to mm. get to a level you need level yeah <laughs> this is what a lot of coaches think and it is mm. also true till certain extent mm. but i'll give you an example yuki bhamri is in delhi right he trains in delhi mm-hmm. and he trains with players like us mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right and by yeah. playing against us every single day he mm. is usually practicing <clears throat> with one of my friends in siri fort is kuwar gupta when i oh, used to okay. go to siri fort i also used to practice with him a lot of times right 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 if he can practice with us mm. and play at challengers or atp 250 or even at a grand mm. slam mm, mm, even mm. i can do that right but i need right. to understand what i'm supposed to work on right exactly i have seen, mm. I have seen lot of parents lot of players always want to play with a better player 
Correct. I have yeah. a simple question for them. Why yeah, will a better sure. player play with you? Play yeah. with you. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the criteria. <laughs> that's that's, <laughs> that's a simple. If that's the criteria. Mm. So how are you supposed to divide your week? Mm. Mm. At least in points. Maybe hitting mm. you can obviously do with someone who's better or you know at at same level. But when mm. you play points, you're mm. supposed to play two days with a player who is at same level with you. Mm. This mm. is where you learn how to fight. Okay. Okay. Two days you play with a player who's playing mm. a little less than you. Mm. This is where mm. you learn how to you know be aggressive. Mm. And two mm. days you are supposed to play with a player who's better than you. This is where you learn how to survive or you know defend. Oh. So this that's, is the right way to divide your week. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, Arnav. That's. Uh, And this is this is, again. Mm. This is one philosophy. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Now another philosophy mm. can also be like a boxing match. Hmm. Hmm. Now you are a boxer, and I don't know anything. Hmm. Hmm. And now I am in a ring with you. Now you are <laughs> just punching, and I'm getting. Yeah. I'm yeah. trying to talk, but I'm mm. not able to. Then right. maybe I can realize one day. Okay, I can also defend. Mm. Right. Right, right, right. Once right. I start defending, then one mm. day I'll feel okay. I can also hit. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> There can be both these approaches, but you will have to figure out what will work best for you, and best maybe that's a coach's job. Right, right. Instead of you thinking every single time that मेरे को तो better player के साथ खेलना, वो तो that player will also say the same thing. Then why will I yeah. play with you? Correct. That's but I mean. If, but if we go by this method, who will Roger Federer play with? Over two key Bhamri play with in India, mm, mm. but they will have to find a way to practice, you know, and keep up with mm. that level. Right, 